Hello everyone, this is Dr. Harun Hadar. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the bias correction, which is very crucial in climate modeling. Because the bias correction actually help align model prediction with the observed data, which ensure more accurate and reliable forecast. If we are not using bias correction, the models may overestimate or underestimate future climate conditions, which can lead to flood decision so by applying this method like uh, quantile mapping, linear scaling and delta math method which we explain in this video I mean which we will I will perform like this is the quantile ma mapping model similarly the linear scaling model delta mod method and several others using R so applying this type of method can improve the precision of climate projections which is essential for effective policy planning and resource management so without uh, spending more time on this i think we, you can f uh, find the more information about uh, observe a uh, bias correction in my other videos i have uploaded some other videos about bias correction using uh, cmhyd software which is also very important but in this video we will uh, do this bias correction using excel data and using the r studio which is quite easy um, like if we have excel data format then we will perform the bias correction very easily and we will get the output very easily in the excel format as well so let's start so we, uh, we will first discuss about the input data you can prepare your input data as uh, maybe you can prepare two files one will be the observed station historical data which can also have like this one uh, see in this data you can see the first column is the date column uh, you can choose the format this format or any other the next one is the observed data which is the station data so you see the GCM data is showing some value like here is 21 but in the real observed data there is no value there is no precipitation in this in this time so it means this GCM is not a uh, very accurate it's uh, it, if you just use the historical GCM data as it is it will it will give you the wrong results which will be the uh, very wrong decision making in the future so the bias correction is very uh, is must to perform to get the accurate simulation so this is the uh, a station in pakistan so in this area there is no such precipitation on every day but gcm is showing that there is precipitation on e each and every day like 12.37 but there is no precipitation in that in that day however so you can uh, set your data like this in the first dead column then observed data then historical gcm data after that you also need to prepare the forecast forecast data like future gcm to like we can we can use the previous observe and uh, historical gcm data and observe station data and to to find to get the relationship between them like how gcm data is overestimating or how gcm is underestimating then we will find a scaling factor and then use that scaling factor in the future projection so this is my other file which have similarly starting from 2025 and up to uh, 2034 it's just 10 10 15 years data so you it depends on the availability of your data if your data is uh, uh, for 100 years it can also work for that so at this uh, specific tutorial I'm using just 10 year data for future so this is my future GCM data of uh, of daily period time period so uh, using these two files in my in my R course then I will f uh, there are some other method like uh, linear scaling I have some excel files for that but this is not for the part of this video anyways so let's go uh, I gave some some basic library like uh, read excel to read the excel file like dp layer to manipulate the data like q map is mapping and some other ggplot and extra to to make the panel graph like grid, grid extra and grids so ggplot2 is everyone knows that is for plotting anyways uh, I uploaded the data in observed session data and GCM data Excel file in observed data and the future data as future GCM. So next, without wasting time, let's go forward. In here, I am using the quantile mapping model. So for the QM model, I have fit that uh, Q map quant uh, from observed and um, model is the model historical GCM like observed and GCM data and step is 0 0.01. So you can change the step of, um, if you want more accuracy you can reduce the values however the future data is the next file which is the future precipitation future gcm data like this one 
so next uh, um, using this queue model it will automatically find a, a relationship between uh, this uh, 2022 line and then it will uh, multiply this uh, uh, q model with the future GCM model and then uh, perform the future projection similarly the linear scaling we have everyone knows that it's become it's actually relevant to a scaling factor so it's the mean of observed data then divided by the mean of the uh, historical data then by finding the scaling factor uh, we need to multiply the scaling factor with the uh, future projected data to get the uh, corrected future data in linear scaling model similarly the delta model also choose the mean values of observed minus mean values of historical and then add this factor to the future uh, precipitation model so however um, then later on these are three models actually have, which I'm going to explain this in this uh, video is quantile mapping linear scaling and delta method so with these three methods uh, we perform this and uh, then this for to calculate the monthly mean and it's just the calculation of monthly means is to just to show that the how these um, uh, codes work and then after that we will plot this uh, monthly mean of observe monthly mean of GCM like historical then uh, also the monthly mean of all the future projections so these are some codes uh, of GG plot it's a kind of a panel plot I will perform like uh, first panel plot will show the observe and historical then panel 2 will show the um, quantile ma model correction and uh, panel 3 will linear scaling correction and the fourth will be the delta method correction so this panel will show the how how these panels are working so this is all uh, let's uh, run this code to check how uh, these um, corrections are being done okay it's done so in this um, uh, here you can see we get the bias corrected future GCM in the start we have these two files but now we have a bias corrected future GCM file as well so this is the future corrected data it's also time series data so you can see um, yeah this is the corrected precipitation data in these uh, all of these three so th the first one is quantile mapping uh, correction and then linear scaling correction and distribution mapping correction and all these so uh, here also we can see uh, in the linear scaling uh, all these uh, there are some values but in actual there is no precipitation right so it means this is not performing very well however the quantile ma model is performing quite well it's just uh, giving the values over those periods where the precipitation is uh, actually available but where in the most of the cases where there is no precipitation the quantile mapping will not show any precipitation um, yeah so um, let's see on the uh, on the graph how how it actually display so I have plotted the mean mean value so this is the first monthly mean of uh, uh, observed versus historical GCM precipitation so the, the line which is the orange color line is historical GCM where is the blue is the observed GCM sorry observed station data so here we can see uh, in most of the cases in the observed is higher than the the GCM GCM is quite same throughout but the observed is higher than some of them year showing higher more than 35 and some year is showing low like 20 but in the GCM case it's all around the 20 so it means the historical is not correct so it but anyway this we need to figure out the scaling factor using these two graphs so uh, we can notice that the observed is higher so this one uh, in the second second uh, uh, second panel uh, see here uh, the red is the corrected data so it seems you can see the raw feature is less but the corrected is higher it means uh, it is actually trying to increase the precipitation uh, as same to the our uh, observed data so in case uh, panel first we can see observe is higher but the, the actual is low so it corrected the data and make the higher values of GCM data a bit more higher to uh, align with the observed data but in the other case the linear scaling it increased the higher value but for the lower case the low values it doesn't change a lot but uh, in the uh, delta method we can also see a little bit change uh, in the corrected and the um, raw 
raw data and corrected data is quite same there's no there's not a big change in both uh, delta and linear scaling however the quantile mapping is really accurate it's see you can see the highest values also increase and the lowest also decrease so it means it's um, perfectly aligning with the observed data so i will recommend uh, if you are using multi comparison with a different bias correction method you might uh, uh, like to go with the uh, quantile mapping method instead of uh, the simplest linear scaling or delta chain method so this is all from my video i hope you enjoyed it and you like it if you like it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video to all of your friends if you have if you want to get similar contents you uh, must follow my channel and keep visiting it to get more updates thank you uh, bye bye